the stars. Over the centuries, everything else in the galaxy has changed, keeps changing, but somehow they manage to stay the same. 300 years ago, colonists from Earth first brought the advances of their own global republic to the rest of the galaxy. They established colonies and built cities on planets in every system and sector. There's no denying the achievements of the Galactic Republic in those early days. War, famine, crime, even most diseases became things of the past. But then came the fall. No conquering enemies swept in from outside the galaxy to end it all. No, the worst enemies of the Republic turned out to be the citizens of the Republic themselves. Ancient factional rivalries buried for centuries flared up hotter than ever. The rule of civilized law was stretched tight and finally broke. The galaxy's dark age had begun. I was born on this planet called Caliban 6 in the Cephean Sector in 2391 and lived here with my kid sister until I was 29. A long time before that, our parents had taken our other brothers and sisters and disappeared. Why? We never really knew. Most likely, there were just too many mouths to feed. That's how things were back then. Survival was all that mattered. Look who we got here! Oh. 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 Hypo up first, then we're gonna have some real fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't spill it. Oh, be careful, be careful. Taking them to Bart in the city square. They, they killed my husband. He never had a chance. Most people don't. Forget your cargo. They're going to use it up by morning. You better get moving. There's a village. A day's travel on the other side of these rocks. People are decent enough. They'll take you in. What about my husband? Do you want to join him? Move. I have nothing on me to repay you with. Forget it. In the vehicle. There's a case of cordium, if they haven't smashed it. Why? Because I'm not even here. You're hallucinating. I'm a bad dream. What? Look, there goes another one. <laughs> okay. That's about all the pressure we can put on her without the hole breaching. Did you get enough information, Nova? Nova. Hey, Nova. Huh? You can breathe now. <laughs> no, I can't. Is the top of my head still attached? Well, you wanted to approximate the G-force pressures in a different atmosphere, right? You've got to teach me how to do that. Oh, slow down. You just started flying a few months ago. So? I can handle it. 
Mon, I practically built this thing. Building it and flying it are two totally different things, genius. Tell you what, if this last batch of modifications actually gets us off this planet, I'll teach you that move. trying to flatten me. No, just coming to say hi. <sighs> what have you got? Something's gonna keep us fed through the whole winter, that's what. You've got enough food in this container to last 14 months? No genius. But what's in this case is gonna get us the food. I hope. That does say cordium, doesn't it? <laughs> Justin, you know it does. Your eating's not that bad. It's not that good either. You just don't see words like that too often. About cordium. Where are you gonna take it? He knocks Sean and his bunch. Nobody else on his planet has an interstellar ship. He's going to barter plenty for that. What makes you think he won't just well, take it? Nah, that means breaking the barter code. Sean will stick to the rules. He made them up after all. Hey, what's this about? Promise me you'll be okay. Listen, Nova, I'm not going anywhere, because we're family. Our family used to be bigger. Yeah, I can't tell you why they left, but I'll tell you that I'm not going anywhere. Okay? Okay. Now let's get off this, because you're depressing me. How's your friend Matrix tonight? Not so good. I thought that maybe some of the work Maggie and me did on the transpod might help modify it for interplanetary flight. But the data boards in the Matrix are too outdated. Well, maybe Sean will let me Error. take a new set out of the archives. That'd be good. You know, as long as you're going to Sean's anyway... Nova, no. Not the biocrystal thing. Come on. But you said yourself. You bought her a lot for the podium. Yeah, we're going to get three months more worth of food for the price of a biocrystal. I just never had a pet, that's all. On the history disc, I saw that almost all the children had them before the Republic fell. People did a lot of things before the Republic fell. <sighs> Priorities keeping us fed, maybe someday, down the line. Hey, I'm gonna get through another chapter of this. Give me a hand. Let's see. Where are we at? There. This was the please. Pleasantest. Pleasantest year of all the life I lead led. and led in this place. Friday began to talk pretty well and understand the names of almost everything. Where have you been? And what's that you're carrying? It looks valuable. Yeah, it is, Gita. Wouldn't interest you, though. Anything of value interests me. Don't let that mound dweller fleece you, Justin. I can give you everything you need for a whole lot less. When it's like crashy, people are all the same. Lower than the worm infested land, you know. <laughs> Hold still. Hold. Hey, you 
almost got it. Shipping a soap through here in almost a year. Don't know why you'd want the soap anyway. Nobody on Calvan 5 ever baits. <laughs> <laughs> Twice strong relay. Here, hardly you. Uh, Alphadesia? Oh. Bioorganisms! Genetic incubators! Body parts! Biocrystals! Bioorganisms! Tribute! This dog has nothing to want! No? I'll wager he has family. <laughs> that he does. Then chain him in the square until they bring what he owes to the warlord! Come, dog! Damn! Valois, getting your usual enjoyment out of life, I see. I don't hear the buzz of insects like you, Thorpe. No? Well, where's Sean? Because I got a little buzzing to do that might interest him. He left for the Omega system a week ago. We don't know just when he'll be back. So unless your business can wait, I'm afraid you're going to have to deal with me. Couldn't use a case of cordium for the Daedalus' hyperoptic drive, could you? Cordium? Interstellar grade? How would I be here if it wasn't? What's your price? 20 months of rations, 12 ounces of refined platinum, eight Centauri sapphires, all cut, 60 ion bursts for Republican service automatic. <laughs> Absurd. All right. I'll come back later and see if Sean agrees with you. No, wait. Get in the rations from inside. Hey. While you're in there, see if you can find the last edition of technical boards for an Alpha Matrix 19. The what? For the what? It's a synthetic intelligence system. Well, find it, fool. It's got to be in there somewhere. Look! The Daedalus! He looks shot as we Well, I'll be back for the rest of my loot. Can't stand to stay around and watch you lick Sean's boots. <laughs> There's gotta be a way around this. Matrix, try. Body parts. Bioorganism. Hey, you, sir. Do you have any biocrystals? Not any, sir. The best. The most beautifully formed, harmonious little creatures. <laughs> One of the maker's true miracles, sir. Living rock. They give you loving companionship and soothing warmth, and all they ask is a little water in return. What, what could you ask of a fellow creature? Would you trade one for 12 ounces of platinum? We find? Of course, sir. Nova! Nova, you here? You got something you're gonna wanna see. Matrix, locate subject Nova Thorpe. Subject Nova Thorpe is not within my sensory parameter. Matrix, did subject Nova Thorpe exit the perimeter with subject Maggie Sorensen? That information is classified. Cla who classified it? That information is unavailable. Patch me through to subject Maggie Sorensen now. Well, well. Public nuisance number one. Where's Nova? What do you mean? I dropped her off at your place last night. I haven't seen her since. I can't find her. Well, maybe she's out of range of your sensors. Your system is pretty limited. Scout around the remorse, see if you can find her. Justin, where are you going? To the only one who can help me. Justin! Ah, ah.
Is that our friend Thorpe? Bring him here, provided he's unarmed. Well, Citizen Thorpe, you've got the devil's own nerve coming back here after the way you gouged Valois today. The deal was fair. Actually, I think Valois just doesn't like you personally. He thinks you're nothing more than a, a scavenger and a petty thief. <laughs> He's right, of course. What does that make you, Sean? That makes me warlord of this planet, Thorpe. Be thankful your little schemes have never conflicted with mine, or you would have discovered the true meaning of that title. Now then. Valois tells me you took some more research materials from the archives today. I must say, I do find all this intellectual ambition quite admirable. Would you care to have a drink? Discuss some philosophical puzzle. Lord knows I can't discuss any such matters with these boys, hmm, Valois? He's a capable man. But sometimes, I wish he had a little bit more of your rustic charm, Justin. Not here to socialize, Sean. No. Of course you're not. No one ever is. We live in a savage age, Citizen Thorpe. All right, then. What's your grievance? My sister's missing. Justin, you have a family. Oh, I've suddenly just gone warm all over. Is she attractive? Never a bad idea to have a warlord in the family, you know. My matrix system's coming up blank. I was wondering... You were wondering if we would turn the Daedalus sensors loose on the problem. Well, of course we will. We'll have that little cherub back in no time. Oh, it will cost you those Centauri sapphires, though. I wouldn't ask myself, but whenever I offer services for nothing, Valois becomes positively morbid. No negotiation. You are worried, aren't you? Here's a hologram of her. Hi, Justin. How are you? I love you. <laughs> Why are you making me do this? Make a copy. Send it out to all our posts. Contact the ship. Find out if anyone's left the planet in the last few hours and put the sensors to work. Oh. I'm afraid I don't have good news. One of my people spotted your sister boarding an interstellar ship with a group of off-worlders. The ship had cloaking capability, which is why we didn't register its presence. Off-worlders? Who are they? Headed toward the Corvus sector before they recloaked. I'm going after Sean. You have to help me. I'm sorry, Thorpe. I just got word that some rabble on the other side of the planet have decided they no longer want to live under my guidance. It's always the same. I try to provide a little order and security, and this is my thanks. At any rate, I have to take the Daedalus and deal with them. You want my advice? Forget your sister. Forget? Are you crazy? I don't know. Am I? You're living in another time, Justin. Your sister's alive. And according to my informant, she wasn't fighting her captors. Be happy with that much. Besides, your little idea of a happy home and family isn't just foolish, it's dangerous. Sean. Sean! I'm going after her. All right, then throw your life away, too. It's a shame, Thorpe. With a little bit of work, you might have made a warlord yourself. Though I, you'll stay in charge here. Baraka, come. Well, did you find anything out? Looks bad. 
She's been kidnapped? Looks like it. Well, who are they? Do they want a ransom? No. Their ship's cloaked. They're headed for the Corvus sector. A whole different sector. Justin, we need help. We? Well, you're not keeping me out of this. You can't handle it alone. You know you can't. Yeah? You think you can help? Well, maybe not me, exactly. Hello, Justin. Well, you never would have agreed if I'd asked to bring him. Look, General Sorensen, you're not really a general of anything anymore, so what are you doing here? Your sister's in trouble, isn't she? I honestly want her help. Well, you and your kind have been help enough, so thanks. Meaning? Meaning that if all you heroes hadn't let the Republic fall in the first place, we wouldn't have to live like this. I don't intend to argue history with a common outlaw. Oh, an outlaw. An outlaw. How can I be an outlaw when you didn't leave us any law? As I just well, said... Well, both of you just stop it. Now, we're here to figure out what to do about Nova. Justin? Granddad has something you should see. Yeah? What? What's this? Read it. Can you? Read. It says VR Osiris. What's that? Osiris was a god of ancient Egypt back on Earth. In the VR? Vessel of the Republic. You've got an interstellar ship? What I have is beyond description. You've never been up this far before, have you, Justin? So where's this ship? What's so amazing about it that you can't? What is that? That's it. That's the Osiris. Republican ship of the line. That's your only hope. And mine too. I should have known. Useless, just like everything else about the Republic. This ship is completely intact except for the tachyon generators. When this station was abandoned, there was no one left to stop them from powering down. What about regular matter-antimatter engines? Doesn't they have any of those? Well, for slower speeds and auxiliary power, of course. But for the Osiris to function as she was designed, the tachyon generators must be online. And that is going to take enormous power. How is it Enoch Shah's never come after this thing? <laughs> Didn't you see the blast marks around the hatches and the loading bays? He has. But access to this ship was genetically keyed to members of the crew only. Oh, just a little secret that I've never revealed to anyone. And you were part of that crew? Yes, of course. I wonder you people lost.
I just don't know what good a dead ship's gonna do us. Dead ship? 24 particle cannon, port and starboard. The same number of torpedo tubes. And a computer and sensory system second to none. Even in her day, there's scarcely a ship in the galaxy that could match the Osiris. Well, that day was a long time ago, General. Technology's been at a standstill since the Republic fell. Yes. That's where I was hoping you'd come in. Me? There is one group in the galaxy with the technical knowledge and the tools to restart the Osiris's tachyon generators. You mean the engineers? You've had dealings with them? No, a little out of my price range. Engineers will cost a fortune. Where are you going to raise that kind of money? That's my question to you. Oh, I get it. I may be an outlaw, but outlaws have their uses, huh? Look, Justin. I'm an old man, and death holds no terrors for me. But the thought of any of us dying on that planet down there, no. And then I have to think about what will happen to Maggie after I'm gone. What are you saying? I'm saying that throughout the galaxy, there are others like me. Servants of the Republic who have kept its spirit alive to pass on to future generations. In the Markab system, for example, there are friends of mine who have for years been protecting the last remaining member of the Cabell family. Isn't Junius Cabell the last proconsul of the Republic? Thought he was assassinated along with his whole family. One grandson survived, and he's being raised by trusted friends. And I can think of no better group of people to look after Maggie. She'll have the opportunity to learn all that the Cabell name stood for. Oh, I get it. You need me to raise money for the engineer so you can take this trip, and you do know how I'm likely to do that. Well, it's not really necessary that I know, is it? No, but you just don't want to know. Wouldn't fit in with your nice Republican principles. Look, Justin, if you don't wish to... You know I wish to. It's the only chance I have to get my sister back. Yes! Hey, old man, go on. You know nobody's allowed around the archives after dark. Now you'll see me get some enjoyment out of life, Thorpe. The Warlord will certainly allow me to kill you for this. I thought I told you to stay on the ship. Wow. You weren't kidding. You could definitely do a lot of damage with one of these things. Is he dead? Nope. Stunned. Remind me to give you a lesson on taking orders later. Hey. I'm not doing Nova any good sitting around waiting for you to get shot. Just keep your eyes peeled. Point that thing somewhere else. Come on, come on! I definitely gotta look at this whole warlording thing. Pipe down and fill your pockets. We gotta get out of here before Sean gets back. Yeah. Welcome aboard, yes. In a day or so, one of their ships will pull alongside the Osiris, and a repair team will come aboard. Their equipment's top of the line. With the rates they charge, they can afford it. Nobody knows where they come from or how it is they still have the knowledge to do what they do. So don't bother asking, because they won't tell. So, 
Oh, how you doing, sir? Oh, uh, ma'am? the bridge, where are you? They did it, Sorensen. They really did it. Yes, they did, didn't they? I take it you're in engineering. The tachyon generators are coming online. It's quite a sight, isn't it? The engineer's ship is signaling. They've disengaged and they're clear of us. Okay. I'm ready. You're ready? Ready for what? Come on, get out of the chair. Well, we've prepared a long time for this, Maggie. Let's see how well you were paying attention. Whoa, whoa, wait. You're not gonna let her fly this thing. You may want to sit down, Justin. Maggie's flying skills are prodigious, but you know that. And she spent hundreds of hours Learning to man the helm of the Osiris. A 15-year-old is not going to pilot an interstellar ship. She's more qualified than I am at this point. Unless you want to try, do you? Let me ask you one thing. Are you ever going to tell me all the details of your little plan? OK, Maggie. Take her out. Clear the dock. Easy, Maggie. Raise your collecting sails. Get your tachyon generators fully charged. Excuse the intrusion, but we picked I'm up... I'm sorry, Valois. There's no way around it. I'll have to kill Thorpe. I know you wanted to, but I'll have to be the one to set the example. Warlord, we picked I'd up... I'd rather not. Truly, I would. I mean, I sympathized with the man. Gave him my counsel. Well, I even found it in me to like him. Yet, how does he repay me? No, Valois, unfortunately. No one. No one kills Justin Thorpe but me. Warlord, our sensors have picked up something unusual. The old Republican ship, the Osiris. Yes? It's moving. Warlord! The Osiris is in open space. Thorpe. Have they engaged the tacking engines yet? Not yet, Warlord. Then attack! Attack while we still can! But is it Thorpe? Of course it's Thorpe, you idiot. He used the money he stole from us to refit the Osiris and go after his sister. Damn you, Thorpe. I want that ship. Prepare to attack! Rock up! Engines at attack speed! All right, Maggie. The tachyon generators are almost at full capacity. What are you doing? 
Hey, it wasn't me. Hold it, both of you. That was an attack. Attack? Maggie, evasive action. Justin, you're with me at the operations. Okay, first things first. I'm raising the death net. The what? Defensive network, the shields and damping fields. Maggie, this is going to bring your sails down. But we're not at full power yet. I know that. But we're defenseless while they're up. That. What's happening? The old girl's rigging for action. Well, why the damn drums? Beating to quarters, alerting the crew. Effective, isn't it? Now, let's see who our guests are on screen. It's Sean. Steady, Maggie. No need to panic. We've got enough weapons on this ship to take on five like him. Justin, you go to the weapon station. All right, enabling weapons. You should be receiving a schematic array on your tactical screen now. Now? Now. I, I got nothing now. Maggie, maintain evasive tactics. It's gotta be the computers. Matrix, activate all weapon systems on the following voice print authorization. Sorensen, Alexander, A-1971. Weapon systems cannot be accessed. You mean the voice print is down? Voice print authorization is online. Weapons access has been repatterned. Repatterned? Well, what is that, repatterned? It means we've got a problem. Well, with our sails down, we can't outrun them, that's for sure. We've got to think of something. Wait a minute. Matrix, use your medium range sensors and get me the current status on Caliban 9. The planet Caliban 9 is currently experiencing a level 13 cometary fragment bombardment. Fine. Get me the height and the frequency of the thermonuclear impact plumes. Approximately 47.6 thousand miles every three and one half seconds. Perfect. Feed that information to the helm guidance system. Afraid you're going to get you a big test a little early. Now, the computer's going to give you a course, but it's going to be an approximate course. So you've actually got to get us through that by yourself. Wait a second. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Yes. Caliban 9, for the last week, has been bombarded with the last pieces of an enormous comet. And I'm betting that Sean doesn't have the equipment to predict the frequency of the impact explosion. So if we can lead him into that, just the right second. Sorensen, if we're a half second off. All right, Dad. The information's coming up on my screen now. Don't worry, Justin. If I'm off, we fry. Just one of those blasts could cripple us, Warlord. Do you think the suicidal Valois? If Thor goes in, we go in. should be opening and... No, in. now. What? I can feel it in the handling. There's another one coming now! Then pull away! Pull away!
just enough power to get clear of the planet Hoyloch. Yes. First we'll make repairs, then we'll go after him. Well done, Citizen Thor. But you can't run forever. All this firepower and no idea how to make it work. You know, I know a guy, an old friend from the Aquila system. Hey, guys. Next problem. What's wrong? I'm not sure. The Matrix is saying there's a small ship docked at one of our shuttle bays. What do you mean? It's not the Remora? Nope. Somebody else. Three life forms aboard. You let somebody slip in here without noticing? Hey, I kind of had my mind on other things. What's the sins deck say? Same thing. Only one intruder's left their ship. Wait. He's in the officer's quarters, and he's playing with the Nutrisynth. Nutrisynth. Hey! Who breaks into a rig like this just to raid the kitchen? What I want to know is how he broke in. Nobody's ever violated this vessel's security system. Come on. Come on. I know you can make one. Search your memory banks. It's got to be in there. Wally, what do you think you're doing? Hey, Justin. I had a feeling you were on this ship. <sighs> the stupid Nutrisynth claims it can't make a Jelinar Supreme. Hmm. That's more like it. Mm. Nice ship you got here, pal. Justin. Who is that? Wally Bryce, the guy I was telling you about before. How are you, General Sorensen? Maggie. Oh, what an amazingly fortunate coincidence. Wait a minute. Uh, how did you know our names? Don't ask. The feeling I got, I get them. And I've had one for the last day or so about you, Just. I can't shake it. How did you get to the security systems? Wasn't easy. They're good, but I had a feeling. Hey! Knock it off with that. With what? You know what I'm talking about, those feelings of yours. My friend here has a very accurate and annoying ability to sense things. About people, animals, machines. As long as you're here, Wally, you're putting it to work for us. Come on. Wait. You're saying you're telepathic? Please, I'm not telepathic. I'm not psychic. I'm not empathic. Come on, Wally. Hey, hey, hey. Do you have any idea of the garbage you have to deal with if people even think you're telepathic? Little old ladies who want to talk to their dead pets. Warlords who want to find out what their enemies are up to. All right. I just get fairly reliable feelings. Let's just leave it at that, okay? Okay. okay. So what happened to Nova anyway? Just going to tell you, Wally. Okay, fine. Sorry. Go ahead. It's not like I do it on purpose, you know. Uh, there's no structural damage. Just the access reconfiguration. Figures the engineers didn't fix it. They're pretty passive people. Don't like working with weapon systems. But I ought to be able to... Ah! There we go. Splendid. Very good work, Mr. Bryce. Don't mention it. It helps you find Nova. Seems like there's a lot of systems on this ship that would help find her. The old war hero here doesn't know how to handle them. Wait a minute, I was a general, not a bloody admiral. <laughs> now, he's got a point, though, Wally. If you stayed aboard, it would greatly improve our chances of getting Nova back. It's a big favor to ask, Wally. We don't know who's got her or why. There's bound to be trouble. Hey, you seem to be forgetting who gave that kid her first lesson in quantum mechanics. Whatever it is, Justin, I'm in. You know that. Hey, I guess I do. What worries me is what you think you're going to do when you find her. What do you mean? Well, wherever she is. You can't just go in there with all the cannon on a Republican ship of the line blazing. Not if you expect to get her out of there alive. You're going to need an arbitrator. I bet you just happen to have one tucked away on your ship. And they call me psychic. <laughs> yeah. I met her in the Aquila system. Her name's Rula Kaur. Uh, look, no. Um, arbitrators can't be trusted. I, I mean, arbitrators are diplomatic mercenaries. No. No, I don't know. I've seen some good ones work out some pretty ugly scenes. And believe me, this lady is the best. I gave her a lift once to Grafius 3 and stuck around to watch her work. Amazing. 
That planet, as you know, has had one of the worst tribal wars around. She took the two leaders aside and basically maneuvered them into a settlement. I'm telling you, Justin, if you have to place Nova's life in an arbitrator's hands, and I don't see any way around it, then rule is the one. All right, all right. What's taking her so long? She's probably nervous. Nervous? About what? <sighs> Did I say nervous? <laughs> you know, Justin, what I meant what? was... What? Wally, what are you up to? Airlock secured. Well, Wally, is this the client you mentioned? This is him. Justin Thorpe, Rula Kaur, and her assistant, Jana. Jana's a Zen trick. I wouldn't try shaking hands with her unless you can afford to lose one. Rula, thanks for signing on. I want you to know, Mr. Thorpe, that professional interests aside, I'm going to be making a special effort in this case. Oh? Why is that? I know what it's like to lose a child and never find her again. Do you, Rula? It seems to me there's an obvious difference between losing a child and abandoning one. I didn't come here to reopen old arguments with you. What is this? Where's Maggie? Maggie doesn't wish to see you. Don't. Don't even try that again. Maggie's old enough to speak for herself now. Rula. Rula, wait. Hey. Hey! Wally, so help me, I'm... Look, Justin, she's got a case. Listen to her side of the story. I don't want to hear any stories. You're a dead man. Justin, they haven't seen each other in years. And you do need an arbitrator. Mother. You know, I wasn't much older than you are right now when we found out I was pregnant. Could you see yourself having children in a few years? Nobody was holding a gun to your head. It was your choice. But I made that choice thinking that your father would always be there. He always took care of everything. I suppose I should have known something might happen one day. It was a soldier, after all, and a Republican loyalist. Pretty dangerous combination. And then he went off to the baton Kados War. And never came back. Nobody did from that war. The whole system's a neutron wasteland. And when he died... I don't know. I couldn't really handle having a little girl suddenly. I suppose I felt too much like one myself. I needed to go off and grow up. You know, just about everything you say starts with I. Have you ever noticed that? Some people have pointed it out to me, yes. Your father... I don't want to talk about him. He couldn't help what happened to him. You could. You never even visited. Your grandfather wouldn't allow it. He wouldn't even tell me where you were. Don't try to blame this on Granddad. He has taken care of me, of everything. I'm not trying to... Well, maybe I am. He can be so manipulative, Maggie. You don't know him the way I do. You're so right. I know him better. He's always been honest with me, no matter how hard things have been. Look, Maggie, this is hard for me, too, you know. Isn't there anything I can do to make this easier? You came here to help us find my best friend. Do that and then do what you do best. Disappear. Oh. Jana, isn't it? Access forbidden to all outsiders, is that right? Access forbidden to me. Huh? Centrics. 
They're all sworn to silence, aren't they? Known throughout the galaxy for your warlike prowess, your fanatical loyalty. I take it you wouldn't advise me to try and get past you. Justin has asked that you join us on the bridge. You didn't have to come all the way down here to tell me that. No. But you wanted to make sure I didn't undermine your position with Maggie, didn't you? Well, don't worry, Father. You've done a first-class job in brainwashing her. She has no interest in talking to me. Try and make sure Maggie's okay, will you, Jonah? This has been pretty rough on her. Well, at least you don't talk. And if you don't talk, then you can't lie. feeling. Oh, come on, Wally. I'm worried sick about Nova. I haven't slept in days. I finally... I don't know who's worse, you that old lunatic Sorensen. Sorensen, trust me. What do you mean? He's a sly old fox, Justin. Real tough to read. Got his own agenda, that's for sure. We need to worry about him? I don't think so. His heart's in the right place. But he plays his cards. Holy. Am I seeing that? Tell me I'm seeing that. It's a planet. Sorensen, everybody to the bridge now. It's a planet. It must have been cloaked. Oh, my God. What is that? I don't know. Some kind of projection? No. It's up on all the sensors. It's a planet. A planet with no star. Well, that's not possible. There's only one group in the galaxy capable of it. The engineers. The engineers? They're not kidnappers. They don't even carry weapons. Maybe not. But there's no other possible explanation, and that is not good news. Why? If the engineers have your sister, Justin, then they didn't take her for money. No ransom would be enough to mean anything to them. An astute reading of the situation. But your fears are ungrounded, Rulagor. I know who we are. It's even worse than I thought. I am the Shakla, leader of the elders of the Society of Engineers. And in their name, I invite you to the surface of our world. You will be our guests. That is an honor that we have never bestowed on anyone. So how come I don't feel so lucky? If you know who we are, then you know why we're here. Where's my sister? She is with us, Justin Thorpe. With us and well. And I may add, anxious for your visit. I believe your ship is equipped with a spatial transverse system. Yes, of course it is. If it's functional. Then we shall drop our defensive shields to allow its use and provide coordinates to your ship's matrix. Please accept our sincerest hospitality. Let me just program the coordinates they gave us. So how's that thing work? What's it do to people? Nothing. To people. Well, in early days, they used to scramble human molecules and send them across space to be reassembled at another terminal. But uh, there were too many accidents. So they started bending and folding the space we travel through instead. Much more reliable. 
And I could do that myself. It's better if I do the injecting. I've had a lot of experience. I bet you have. Ow! I thought you said that wasn't going to hurt. I didn't say it wouldn't hurt. I said I'd done it a lot. I'm not crazy about having strange things in my head. You really think you'll notice one more? <laughs> Besides, internal opticoms aren't strange. They're just unusual. Sort of a secret weapon I developed for negotiations. Gives us an edge to be able to send agents into a situation and then see and hear exactly what they see and hear. I still believe it's a big mistake to go down there unarmed, don't you? They didn't phrase it as a request, Father. If we go down there with weapons, all contact will be terminated, and that'll kill any chance of getting Nova out. All right. Let's see if the implants work. Maggie, can you read me? Got it. Are the others coming online? Yeah, they're coming up now. All right, now you and Jana keep the situation on close watch. At the first sign of trouble, get the Osiris to a higher orbit. Maggie, all arbitrators monitor a specific paraspace audiovisual frequency, and I've programmed our implants to feed into that frequency. So make sure to maintain the link. Got it. Do you want to be okay? Have been for the last 11 years. Remember. These implants are receivers as well as transmitters, so if you have any problem... I won't. All right. We should be ready to start down. Wally? Stay close, Justin. If you move outside the transverse while it's active, it could be most unpleasant. Well, brave travelers, you are welcome indeed. I must say, Shaklan, you're the most cordial kidnappers I've ever met. Kidnapping is an act of force. Nova Thorpe came with us of her own free will. Then where is she now? Within, and awaiting your arrival. I, I merely thought that before you see her, you might wish to learn something of our customs, our culture and our designs for the future. It might help you to decide if we were right or wrong to bring Nova here. Come. Our society, though shielded from outsiders, is an ancient one. The city you are about to see is the result of generations of... Jeez, Jonna. What's wrong? All the bad guys are down on the planet. Or at least I thought they were. Let me put this up on the main screen. Oh, great. You better power up the deaf net, Jana. and our citizens a respect for the rule of law. You see, in order for any system to work for one, it must work for all. But your people, for your talk of progress and community, there don't seem to be any emotional connection between them. In fact, there's no feeling of intimacy anywhere. Of course not. On our home world, we have eliminated all conflict. Can you imagine what that must be like? In order to achieve that goal, we had to eliminate the causes of conflict. Factionalism, tribalism, nationalism, globalism. Families. You started by eliminating families. Precisely, Mr. Thorpe. What has forever been known as the family system is, in fact, the basic unit of all conflict. Either from within, 
Or when families form the building blocks of competing tribes, nations, worlds. Was it not just such factionalism that destroyed your beloved Republic, General Sorensen? Well, how do you breed? How do you perpetuate your race? We are a race, not of blood, but of ideas. Thus, all intimate physical contact between members of the engineer society is strictly forbidden. Our genetic experts are striving to perfect a method of single-sex reproduction, while advanced hormonal restructuring will eliminate any sense of gender identity. In this way, we shall eradicate even conflict between the sexes. You're crazy. No. No, it's not crazy, Justin. The Shockland's right. Nova? Nova, are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? Did you really come with these people willingly? Of course. It's an honor to be chosen for re-education. I was the only one in our whole sector. Re-education? We have not yet perfected our method of single-sex reproduction. Until we do, we perpetuate our race by taking in the most gifted children in the galaxy and allowing them to learn our ways. So, in the end, you are just simple kidnappers. They're not. They're allowing me to learn and grow and be a part of a great society. But Nova, we're family. Family? Like mom and dad who abandoned us? Families like that turn the galaxy into the place it is. What have you done to her? Must we have done something for a child as gifted as your sister to see the obvious truth? And your sister is gifted, Justin. More gifted than any new member of our society in years. Gifted enough, in all probability, to one day be incorporated into the sublime plenum. The what? Our highest authority. Yes, of course. It is decided. So genuine is our desire to include you in our society that you shall be the first off-worlders to observe the miracle of the plenum. Just in the plenum? It's such an honor! Nova? I'm sorry, Shafflin. Shall I show them what I mean? Try to communicate with her, Justin. She's exhibiting all the signs of narconeural root patterning. Brainwashing? Worse. I'd say they'd actually been tampering with the characteristic structure of her neural net. of a child I am. After all my years of conquering and pillaging, I'm to meet my end by being strangled with a diaper. Horrors. Where's Thorpe? He's not on board. Oh, what a pity. Because in that case, young lady, you're going to die alone. John, a divert auxiliary power to the death net. I gotta figure out what to do. Honored ancestors, we have reached a determination. Despite their advanced age, they shall be granted inclusion into society, provided that they agree to be re-educated. Justin, they're gonna let you stay. 
Yeah, well, before we go joining up, why don't you tell us what that thing is? Each conscious being has a unique pattern of synaptic pathways which constitute his or her own life force, or what you might call a soul. We have found a way to transfer that pattern at the time of an individual's body death to other inert organic tissues. Thus, the minds and thoughts of our greatest citizens are preserved indefinitely to guide our actions. Spiritual immortality? He's lying. What? That inert mass of flesh he's talking about, it's alive. I can feel it. It's alive. It's a living host. And it's in pain. Do the strangers agree to re-education? I'd like an answer to a question of my own before we answer yours. It is permitted. All this activity, the great energy of your society, it obviously has some ultimate purpose. Could you tell us what that purpose is? Ours is the most productive society in galactic history. Its privacy must spread. We are at last able to let this process begin. I thought so. Galactic conquest. The core, galactic liberation, an end to the strife that has plagued every civilization since the dawn of time. There'll be many worlds who won't join willingly. Those who resist will be compelled. Or enslaved, like this creature that houses your eternal souls. Let's be clear. I take it you're offering us a choice between re-education and termination, correct? No further options exist, given current factors. Then consider this. My three associates and I have been implanted with transmission devices that are linked to our ship. Even now, we're transmitting your words and your image over Paris Space Wave to anyone in the galaxy capable of receiving them. How is this possible? Revered ancestors, I, we, we did not think them so cunning. And we did not detect the devices. We also discovered that your repair team didn't reactivate our weapon systems, and we've done so ourselves. We can punch a hole through your planetary shields and transverse out of here whenever we like. Impossible. You need a demonstration very well, General. All right, Maggie. Fire starboard gun number one. Aim just outside the city. When ready, Maggie. Maggie? Where are you? So, the famed arbitrator's bluff. Huh. We are not quite so gullible. Take the strangers to the processing center. Exercise their transmission devices. Get her, Justin Thorpe. We gave you a chance for survival because we thought you might be exceptional. But you are only lying barbarians. Uh, remove them. Uh, John, I think we've got a link. Try patching it through. Hello. On the surface, wherever you are, can you hear me? Yes, Maggie, we're here. Where have you been? We have a slight problem here. It's Sean. He's attacking, and he won't leave without Justin. We could probably destroy his ship, but... Well, I've never actually killed anybody before. You say Sean wants Justin. Then you go right ahead, and you tell him exactly where Justin is. What? What is... Just do it. <sighs> There must be a genetic defect. His body is rejecting the hormones. That concept is mistaken. That concept is mistaken. That concept is mistaken. This is re-education. If you're gonna kill me, you can kill me right here and now. But as long as I'm alive, you won't subject my sister to any more of that! 
You'll do as you're told, Thor. Nova, I know it's hard. I know what they've done. But try to remember, we were family. Maybe not with a mother and father, but you and me, we've always come through for each other. Always, see? Bio crystal. I got it for you that day at the archives, remember? But now we won't have enough food for the winter. We will, we will. Enough of this, Thorpe. What was that? Sorry, but if you have a score to settle with my friend Thor, you'll have to wait your turn! back amongst us. I was afraid I'd given you a little too much. You shot me. Nothing else to do. You wouldn't let us leave. Even Sean had the sense to head for home when the engineer fleet appeared. Still no reply, General. I don't understand. You know, we're well within power space range. Nothing. Or range or reply. Remember the Republican loyalists I told you about on Mark Ab 4? You're not going to abandon my sister. We're not going to abandon your sister. We're going back for her. But I will not have this be a suicide mission. There's no one group can stand alone against the engineers. This has got to be a united galactic effort. <sighs> Talking about reviving the Republic? Justin, give yourself a minute to think about this. People already understand the Republic. It's an idea you won't have to waste a lot of time explaining. Except to me. I probably fell apart, Wally. What makes you think it's not going to happen again? Yes. I've spent a lot of time thinking about that. Oh, really? Yes, really. There's a lot of truth in what you say. Towards the end, the leaders of the Republic may have become too remote. We should have had new blood. We failed to get it. Blood like yours. I must still be unconscious. And you too. You're on board with this. Maggie? You're actually asking for my opinion? You saved my butt twice in one week. I figure I can manage that. I think we can't go back for Nova without help. So what do we do now? We need a rallying point of some kind. Someone associated with the Republic that people want to follow. A name they can trust. And there's only one logical choice. The boy I told you about. The grandson of Junius Cabell. Finally, Mark Hab 4. Granddad, it's Mashwa. Put her on the screen. I repeat, Alexander, if it is you hailing us, stay away. Stay away. Mashwa, what's happening? The entire planet tries attack. We don't know who. Can you give us a visual? No, they are cloaked. Don't, don't approach. There are too many. But we've come for the boy, Cabell. 
You've been Trajan. He hasn't been on this planet for years. I thought you knew. The, the plan for the Republic. Trajan rejected everything about the Republic since he grew up. He called all of us sentimental fools. He stole a ship. He changed his name. And he went off. Where? I don't know. But he calls himself Sean now. Alexander? Enoch, Sean. Mashwa! Fire intensifying. We lost our ship. Mashwa! Mashwa! Wally, re-establish contact with Malcap 4. There's no sign of life on Malcap 4. I got here first. The engineers? Who else can build ships that can fire even while cloaked? All right, Maggie, get us out of here before they realize we're in the area now. But what course? Caliban 6. Justin. What? So what if this Cabell descendant is he, Knock Sean? He's still the only hope you got. He knows what the engineers are up to. We'll just meet with him and make him see reason. Make he, Knock Sean, see reason? Does that mean you agree? You agree to go along with the plan? I'm not so stupid I don't get your point, Sorensen. I'll get you Henoch. Henoch will get you the Loyalists and their ships, and we go back for my sister. But what makes you think he'll meet with us? He won't meet with us. He'll meet with me, and it won't be to talk. I just hope I can get my point across before he kills me. Well, well, well. Citizen Thor. You got here quickly. The Osiris is certainly a remarkable ship. I must say, I'm going to make good use of her. After I've killed you, I mean. Are you going to kill me, Sean? Or should I call you Trajan Cabell? Ooh. Been doing a little detective work now, have we? That knowledge will die with you. I trust you've abided by our agreement to come unarmed. Yes. Good. Because I haven't. I should have known. I'm surprised you didn't. What's happening to you? You know what the engineers are up to. And when they come to Caliban 6, I'll fight them! You're loose. Well, what other choice is there? Not the Republic. You could be the new pro -castle. Tempting, but I'm afraid not. People like you and me have no place in a world like that for... We're fighters! Survivors! But your family! You don't imagine I ever knew my family, do you? The people who raised you, Sean. What about them? They're dead, murdered by the engineers. A desperate and pathetic boy, Thorpe. You don't even know who those people are. Don't I? The old woman, Mashwa. I'm warning you, Thorpe. Don't go on with this. We saw the engineers kill them. Does that mean anything to you? Yes. As a matter of fact, it does. She never asked for the job of bringing me up any more than I asked to have her. But she never objected, never complained. Always felt a little bad about not saying goodbye. You say they destroyed the entire surface of the planet. Totally. Some advanced form of antimatter radiation. You have a strategy, I suppose, Sorensen. Yes. They'll hit the planets that were Republican centers first. We'll beat them to the punch. Then we'll organize those worlds and get them on our side. All this wonderful Republican technology. And that's our strategy. Beat them to the punch. Well, not a bad one at that. Oh, so I take it you do agree. What about you, Thorpe? What's your role to be? My job's done. I'm going back for my sister. With 
What weapons, if I may ask? According to the general here, once word spreads that you've signed on, there's going to be a whole fleet of Republican ships. Not the squadron Benador put together. So, Sorensen, you've tricked our friend Thorpe. What do you mean, tricked? What's he talking about? Well, I do think you might be honest with the man, Sorensen. Justin, the ships I wanted were part of an organized Republican squadron. It took years to assemble, but they were on Markab 4. They were obliterated. What? You knew that before I went down there. <sighs> you lied to me. It had to be that way. If I'd given you a choice, you would have turned me down. You used me. Justin. Justin, we need you. We even need Sean. If I may, Sorensen. What? Thorpe and I understand each other. In a way. Coming back up. The bridge is awfully empty without a leader, Thorpe. Well, I always told you you had potential. I just didn't think it would fulfill itself in circumstances like these. There's already one general too many on board. Who? Sorensen? <laughs> His days passed and he knows it. What about you? On this ship, I don't think so. It'll be hard enough being proconsul without having to act like one. No, I'll stay aboard the Daedalus, thank you. So, your sister got the looks as well as the brains. Genetics can be so unfair. You know as well as I do, the old man's right. If you ever hope to see your sister again, you'll have to let go of her for now. Face the bigger problem first. If you try and go back, they'll kill you. Assemble a new force. She has a prayer. And you? Me? Well, I will say this. We all may survive if the engineers have their way. But there won't be much point in living. I know. And I know you know. Now. Get back to that bridge. Hi. Warlord. You're not serious about all this. This Republic business, are you? I'm not sure. The situation does have possibilities. But what will the rest of us do? Do? You will follow my orders as always. Now get back to the ship. There are ghosts aboard this great vessel. It's all right. I'm sorry. Just for future reference, you won't be needing tricks anymore. Deal. There's a chair on this bridge that nobody sat in for many years. I think you should see how it feels. You're going to be spending a lot of time in it.
What was the closest Republican senator to Mark had four in the old days? Gamma Valorum. Maggie? Land of course. You got it. But if you think you're getting a yes sir out of me. As Sorensen had said, the job before us was almost overwhelming. The engineers had spent years getting ready and we were scrambling for counter moves, making them up as we went along. We'd have to plan a campaign, rebuild our technological systems, negotiate allies, and train a new generation to fight for a set of ideals that most people believed were dead. Ideals that had brought one of the galaxy's most dangerous warlords face to face with his past and with his destiny. And the image of the one we'd been forced to leave behind would never leave our thoughts for very long. In some ways, success seemed impossible. But we had something the engineers could never have. The trust of friends who had already risked everything for each other, who were bound by just the kind of ties that the engineers were trying to destroy. As for whether or not we made it, in the end, that's the story these chronicles will tell.